The species we study is called smooth cord grass, and it's the foundational species along the coast of the northern Gulf of Mexico and along the Atlantic coast. This species is incredibly important for building land and keeping land from falling into the sea. We went out to several sites that received heavy oiling after the spill. We found that the bacterial community inside the tissues of plants shifted to incorporate more bacteria that are important for breaking down oil. This is also really important because our collaborators have found that there's also oil inside of the plant tissues that still needs to be broken down. So it's possible that these bacterial shifts are gonna be important for continuing to clean up the oil spill inside of the plant. This is Bay Jimmy. It was one of the worst impacted areas after the Deepwater Horizon spill. And we used the shoreline to test different strategies for remediating the oil, for removing it from the surface. And after remediation, I went in and planted Spartina along the shoreline in different plots to compare what rates of erosion were like using different planted varieties versus leaving them unplanted after remediation. Um, this stake right here is the back of a plot that we set up in 2011 where we were comparing planting versus not planting and the plot extended 15 feet towards the water and then in front of the plot was an additional 15 feet and all of that's gone now. So since 2011 we have 30 feet of erosion up until this stake. The aspect of Spartina alterniflora is it's a very powerful ecosystem engineer which means that it physically impacts this, this entire ecosystem. So just the presence of the marsh here is dependent on the ability of Spartina to hold the substrate in place. Well, the elegance of focusing on Spartina is that whether we're here in the Gulf or on the Atlantic or on the Pacific, there are Spartina everywhere. Uh, some Spartina have been uh, artificially introduced uh, and have proven to be problematic, but the native Spartina and other congeners and related species uh, that serve a similar function that effectively engineer uh, coastlines uh, can serve a similar purpose. So now we're taking a closer look at these bacterial communities living symbiotically inside of root tissue to see if we can identify which bacteria are the best at biodegrading oil inside of plant tissue. And what we'd like to do is identify the best bacteria that we can use to inoculate plants in the future that are going to be used for restoration purposes. So instead of just putting a plant out there, we're gonna put out a plant bacterial combination. And that combination of organisms is going to help clean up oil faster.